Today, we're gonna go over some terminologies of the stock market. If nalilito ka or nalito ka, just think of it like you're learning a new language. Kasi baka may mga terms and lingos na baka first time mo lang maririnig. So, let's go! Since our topic is the Philippine stock market, pag-uusapan natin yung pinagkaiba ng PSE at PSEI. This is the PSE. The PSE is the National Exchange of the Philippines. So, merger siya sa dating Makati Stock Exchange at Manila Stock Exchange. And dito sa PSE, meron siyang 200 plus na listed companies. Also, the PSE is a listed company. Ibig sabihin, pwede kang mag-buy, pwede mo siyang i-buy at pwede mo siyang i-sell, pwede kang mag-invest sa kanya, pwede mo siyang i-trade. This one naman is the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So, out of the 200 plus companies na listed sa Philippine Stock Exchange, merong 30 selected companies that make up the index. It's like a fixed basket of 30 companies na largest and most traded. PSE meron siya criteria for judging kung sino yung mapupunta dun sa index, kung sino yung 30. So, hindi siya fixed permanent basket. It changes from time to time. And yun nga, meron siyang criteria for judging like public float, market cap, etc. And then this index, it also serves as the benchmark for the overall performance of the Philippine stock market. So, if usually mataas yung performance ng 30 companies na yun, mataas rin yung index. And what happens is yung the rest of the stocks na hindi part of the 30 usually sumusunod din sila na tumataas din. On the flip side, kapag ka bumababa yung performance or yung chart nung 30 companies na yon bumababa din yung overall performance nung PSEI or nung index sumusunod din most usually but not all the time yung the rest of the stocks. Itong 30 companies din yung tinatawag and most likely naririnig mo na na blue chip companies. Sa US meron din siya meron din silang index si to us. They call it, marami, pero one of it they call S&P 500. And ito naman is yung kanilang stock market index tracking ng stock performance of the 500 largest companies listed in the stock exchange ng United States. So, syempre, mas marami kasing companies sa kanila, kaya yung largest nila 500 sa 10, 200 plus lang. So, top 30 companies yung composition ng index. Now, let's go to the sectors. As you can see here, merong main index, the PSEI, have the all sectors and then you have six sectors and isa isa natin siya. And here I will show you. So dito you have the financials tas lalabas na sila lahat dyan of financial index. You have industrial, holding firms, property, service, mining, and oil. Now if we go to the PSE website and dito din yung mga sectors niya. So you have your financials. Dito you have banks and other financial institutions and dito na sila nakalagay lahat. Ayan. Mga stocks under financial you have industrial, ito naman yung mga electric, energy, water, food, beverage, construction, chemicals, other industrials, and electrical components and equipments. Thus, you can just sort and filter if you want to see kung ano yung mga under the industrial sector. Next is yung holding firms. Holding firms, um, ano tong mga to? Pag nalagay mo subsectors, lalabas lang dyan holding firms. Pero ito yung mga companies na ang primary business nila is holding in the securities of other companies. Wala silang ano eh, they do not produce goods or services. Its purpose lang is to own stocks of other companies and then they form a corporate group. Next is property, property stocks. Yan sa mga land and developments. You have services, so you have media, telco, infotech, transpo, hotel, eduk, uh, casino and games, and retail. So yan yung other services na sectors. And mining and oil, syempre mining and oil. <laughs> Pero they, um, mostly yung companies na to, they cater on exploration and production of crude oil and natural gas. Tapos mining of all kinds of ano, minerals or metals. Metals, Those are the six sectors. Next is stock brokers. Kasi before you can go ahead and buy any of the companies in these sectors, you need a broker. So sometimes they call it stock broker, online trading account, ito, online brokers. So it can be a person or it can be an online account just like this ones. Why you need a broker is that hindi ka kasi pwedeng direct mag-invest in companies kagaya ng 
na-mention natin dito sa mga sectors yung inisa-isa natin. Hindi ka pwedeng pumunta sa SM and tell them na I wanna buy shares or I wanna buy stocks ng SM. You need an account with a broker. That's why you have this. Now, if you need a full guide on choosing a broker, you can just watch. I created a, a video about that. You can check it out here. Next na term is yung bull and bear. If you're new to stock investing, you're probably thinking, bakit may mga animals sa stock market? But it simply means that if you're a bull, you think that the market is gonna go up in the future. And if you're a bear, you think that the market will go down in the future. So, naririnig mo yung traders, they would say, I am bullish dun sa ganitong stock. It means na they are optimistic or they are bullish or they think that the price of the stock will go up in the future. In the same way, kapag naririnig mo yung traders, sasabihin niya, bearish ako dun sa stock ngayon or bearish ako sa overall market, they think that the stock market will still continue to go down. So, ang easy way to remember this is that when a bull attacks, di ba, yung horn niya, when the bull charges at you, yung horns niya pa akyat. And when the bear charges at you, yung paws niya, it goes down. Now, let's talk about the three types of trend. You have the sideways, the uptrend, and the downtrend. It's important for us to know yung trend because in the stock market right now, currently as of this video, the only way to make money is when the stock price goes up. Unlike with other market, which we're not gonna talk about in this video. Pero, basically, an uptrend is when the stock forms like a ladder or parang an arrow up, you know, uptrend. So, that's how you make money. When a stock is downtrend, you wanna avoid those type of stocks. And this one is sideways, kung saan parang ano lang siya, nag dyan lang siya, nagsiseta lang siya on, on the side. It goes up and it goes down, pero it doesn't go on a straight uptrending line. Parang lagi siyang nauuntog at a certain level. Now, let's go to a stock portfolio. This is an example of a stock portfolio. Nandiyan na lahat. And this is an example from a stock broker na Call Financial. So, nandiyan na lahat. Makikita mo yung buying power, which is yung available mong pera na pambili ng stocks. You have the equities. Yan yung mga stocks na hawak mo and their performance. Tapos sa baba nun, if meron kang hawak na mutual fund, nandiyan na rin siya. So, that's how your portfolio looks like. If you say na ito yung stock portfolio ko, so yan yung composition niya. So those are the basic stock market terms that you need to know as a beginner. If you want a part of this video, siguro ano naman, stock trading terms, just comment below. Because I've seen it in the past that the stock market is a great equalizer of wealth. And nakaka-sad lang na a lot of Filipinos still are not investing in the stock market. Dahil sa mga nakakalitong terms and lingos na ganito, and without proper guidance, you may feel overwhelmed or uncertain if tama ba yung ginagawa mo. That is why, if you want a guide to help you get started, you can download a copy of my free guide. It's a free ebook. Link is in the description. And this is Christina saying that si Juan ay hindi tamad, madiskarte siya. See you on the next video and subscribe. Bye!